we share a lot of data on the internet and while we may forget about the data we've shared, the internet doesn't forget. The companies, they store the data and they use that to create insights into us. And, and they are so good at this that they even know us better than we do ourselves. This creates an enormous power and knowledge over us. My research is in privacy. And privacy used to be a right that you exercise uh, while you're in control of your data. And now we're facing a world where the positions are, are, are different. A company has information about me and I may not want to know certain information about me. I don't want to be confronted with it. So I may not want to be confronted with a photo of me and an ex-lover. I may not want to know what type of disease I will be suffering from in 20 years time. And so my research is about can we reformulate the right to privacy in a way that it tackles precisely this problem. I've studied law and philosophy. And in philosophy and also psychology, it's well known that individuals are not um, as monolithic as, as you might think they are. I see myself as a healthy and fit person while instead I lay on the couch every night watching television, for example. So you can create your own story and of course you kind of uh, hide certain things or make things prettier, but this is part of our narrative and the narrative makes our identity in a way. And now if we face a world where we cannot write this personal narrative, but others write that personal narrative for us, they in, kind of, in, in a way they are writing our personal story. They are writing our identity for us and we lose that. And so this is the first finding I have using insights from, for example, psychoanalysis, that the, the human being is conflicted in many ways while our story is, is precisely intended to create a kind of coherence in our life. If you consider that identity is where we're based on, our personal narrative is essential for our identity. And if it's true that we are going towards a world where we are not in control of our own narrative anymore, then it's essential that, that, that our, our capacity to exercise a form of identity, a form of personality is deprived from us. So if I succeed, and you never know, then I, I might uh, try to develop a doctrine, a legal doctrine that might help protect uh, that capacity we have. And it's the most fundamental capacity to being a human is to have a sense of personhood, to have a sense of identity. So this is what my research is about. Can we create a legal doctrine, a legal environment in which at least our essential capacity to engage in writing our personal narrative is protected. <laughs>